we are racing three extremely fast 3D printers to see who can come out on top in performance. Hi, I'm Nick. Welcome back to the Gannon Makerspace. For those of you who know 3D printing, you know that this might be more typical of a snail race, with some of these prints taking several hours to complete. That's why we gathered these state-of-the-art 3D printers to see if we could change that. The first printer that we have here is the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, which has to be the most talked about 3D printer of the past year. Bamboo Lab introduced the X1 Carbon through a Kickstarter in 2022. With the promise of being an extremely fast 3D printer capable of two Gs of acceleration right out of the box. With that being said, Bamboo Labs is still the new kid on the block and has yet to prove that it can contend with these other name brand giants. Creality, as a company, has been releasing budget-friendly 3D printers since 2014. If you've been anywhere around the 3D printing market, you've definitely seen some of their other machines. Just this year, Creality released its competitor to the X1 Carbon, the K1 and it even undercut them on their price. Just like the X1 Carbon, the Creality K1 boasts two Gs of acceleration. In the past, Creality has been known to cut some corners in quality to save on price. So let's see how it can compete with the much more expensive Prusa Mark IV. Way back in 2010, Prusa released its first 3D printer, and here we are 13 years later with Prusa taking a stab at the high-speed printing market with the Mark IV. But those of you who are familiar with the Prusa Bedslinger design might be confused how it's trying to compete with these Core XY high-speed machines. Let's take it back to the announcement of the Mark IV. Released two months ago, these were Prusa's first printers that were promised to have input shaping to help increase print speeds. But upon delivery, owners were disappointed to find that that was still in development. But what is input shaping? Input shaping is the software process of resonance cancellation similar to how noise canceling headphones work. This finally controls the input signal that goes to the stepper motors. As you can see in this example, the input signal generated is fine tuned to cancel out the vibrations it might cause in your 3D printer. These can cause artifacts such as ringing in the printed surface. Just this week, Prusa released the alpha firmware for the Mark IVs that includes input shaping. We're really excited to see how much of a difference this can make. Now time for the classic speedboat race. As we get started in this race, let's go over the ground rules that all of these machines are following. All of them are printing Hatchbox PLA with a 0.2 layer height and 15% grid infill. And we are printing these at the recommended default speeds from each manufacturer. You notice we have two Prusas. One is a Mark IV with input shaping and one is without. In first is the Mark IV with input shaping at just under 40 minutes. Second is the X1 Carbon at just over 47 minutes. Third followed closely is the K1 at 48 minutes. Lastly, over 15 minutes later is the Mark IV without input shaping. To keep things fair, and as per Bamboo Lab's recommendation, we did uncheck flow calibration on the X1 Carbon. We kept bed leveling on all four machines as it's fully automatic. Okay, let's take a look at the results of the Benchy Speedboat race. Right off the bat, all four of these look really great. There's only some subtle differences between each one of them, and I would consider all four of them to be completely acceptable. We're only gonna point out some of the differences that we noticed because these prints are so close. In the Mark IV with input shaping, we noticed a little bit more ringing, but it did print over 20 minutes faster than the standard Mark IV. The X1 Carbon and the K1 both have a little bit of Z banding on their vertical layers. On all four of these, the first layers look really great. There's very minimal stringing. Top layers are completely filled with no gaps or anything like that. It definitely turned out really nice for all four of these Benchies. So now ranking these four models based on speed and quality. First up, I'm gonna go highest quality. And to me, that's the Mark IV without input shaping. Next, we're gonna go highest speed. 
and that's the Mark IV with input shaping, and it's still a really high quality, I'd say just slightly below the standard Mark IV. The next fastest was the X1 Carbon, and I'd say the quality's a little bit under the Mark IV, just because of some of that Z-banding issues. And then lastly, we have the K1, a little bit slower than the X1 Carbon, and a little bit under quality compared to the others. So that's just my opinion on what I thought of these prints. If you like this comparison, make sure you check out some of our other videos where we compared five printers, including a Prusa XL. And if you like our content, make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for more. The bee's knees. <laughs>